All right. Hey. Hello. What have we got here? What? Ah. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I didn't. No, wait. I've already looked inside that truck. Um, this is who I'm looking for. The forecaster. He's got some very interesting random junk over here. Hello. Hi, mister. I hope you're doing fine today. Where are your parents, kid? Don't tell me you're all alone. I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. Uh, okay. So what have you got for sale? Oh, I don't sell things, mister. I sell thoughts. You mean you, you don't sell that junk behind you? That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's kind of empty. So, you sell thoughts? I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. What is your medicine, and how do you take it off? This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think, I mean. You know, I might be interested in buying your headache medicine. How much? Thinking hurts you, too? Huh? I wish I could let you have the one on my head, but I can't. It hurts real bad when I don't wear it. Okay. Then I'll pay you a hundred caps to hear your thoughts. Great. What do you want me to think about? I can think about you, here, or everywhere. What do you want? Try thinking about me. Okay. Let me take off my medicine. Your face does the thinking. Two to the skull. Yet one gets up. Odds are against you, but they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt, but you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack, and a gamble. A gamble that may pay off, but how? Forecast, rapidly changing conditions. A lot of thinking, most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at me. Sorry if I said anything weird. How do you know these things? Oh, I don't know anything, mister. I just think it. And then, I don't. Here's another hundred caps. I want to hear your thoughts again. Think about everywhere. Let me take off my medicine. Bull and bear over the dam, at each other's throats. But a light from Vegas? Ball spinning on the wheel. More than two at the table. Placing bets. All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses. Towns of corpses, scattered across the sand. But whose? In what shares? Even the dealer doesn't know. Forecast, a rain of blood will flood the desert and not purify it. Blah. Thinking about everywhere always makes me feel a little sick. I'm gonna give some thought to what you told me. But I'll be back. I thought you'd say that. Really potted out reception area. Oh, hey, Nuka Cola. Why anybody would keep that in a filing cabinet, I. Hello! Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Oh, I forgot that he would say that. Okay, well, um. Crap, I can't crack into that door. Um, let's check out the bathrooms first. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Anything in the stalls? Doesn't look like we have any booby-trapped toilets. Actually, for that matter, I don't know if there are any booby-trapped toilets Goodbye, in this game. Be sure to visit again. All right, let's, oh, um... And please, for your own safety, stay outside of restricted areas. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Wait right here. Well, no, you know, but... Screw it. I've got this, uh, really fancy pants... Static... Fist glove. Go ahead and just change my outfit. 
So I'm gonna use it. Piece of shit. Tell me not to come into a building that's been abandoned. Alright. Now, uh, I could have, uh, taken... I, I could have, you know, waited till a specific time, and, uh, that robot would have... led me through a tour of this area here, but... That is one terrible amalgamation of Mr. Handy's. Um... And he, uh, it... well, not he, it would have led me to here, the planetarium. And there's just basically a, a kind of a fairly interesting puzzle that's going on here to be able to get up to the top floor without having to fight any robots. Now, uh, I'm gonna go through it for the most part because, I mean, I, I just don't want to get shot at. That being said, um, it won't stop me from destroying every robot in my way because I've got this freaking fist, which is a freaking amazing. I feel like I'm using the word freaking a whole lot right now. Uh, oh, hey, we've got a bunch of uh, lo lunch boxes here. Repcon. You know, for... Uh, oh, hey, another star cap. At this rate, I'm going to end up uh, having enough to do the Sunset Sarsaparilla quest. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, in no time. Let's go ahead and um, hop back to the main room here. I was already gone through there, looted that robot. I should be able to open this door up now. There we go. What have we got here? Activate terminal. Can't do it. Hacking skill required. Can't open the door because my lockpick skill isn't high enough. At least I got eight caps. It doesn't really make up for the loot that I would find otherwise. And I found... Uh, that's a normal... Aha! Another star cap. Again. <laughs> I am absolutely on fire with these things. Okay, uh... We got some MF cells over here. Looking forward to um, getting to the top floor and finding what I need. Oh, filing cabinets are empty. Can't access that. And the elevator is dead. Crud. Okay. So, uh, that being the case, I guess I'm just going to start weaving my way around the ground floor. Unauthorized here. facial pattern detected. Valid security badge detected. Temporary access granted. Please complete employee registration with security. Okay, I'm going to destroy this guy, but, um... There we go. Uh, the reason why he, uh, he let me pass when normally he would have ended up shooting at me... Well, I keep saying he, it. Uh, oh, oh security is your duty. <laughs> okay. Um, that robot normally would have tried to destroy me, but, um, because I nabbed that badge, uh, it didn't. So, uh, now if I don't want to get shot while on the second floor here, I'll have to hack into this terminal. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and, uh, add my facial data to the database. And, uh, there, there are a whole lot of log entries going on here, but there's not really what I would consider a worthwhile story to tell. It's just kind of bits Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, die. There we go. I just take the flame refuel. Um, what was I saying? Um, uh, yeah, but, um, that's how, um, I can, uh, avoid being attacked. Uh, whenever I'm on the first floor and, uh, whenever I'm on the second floor. Go ahead and pop this open, take the stuff. How Let's get rid of this you, stuff. Um... Uh, there's not there's not actually anything you can do for me uh, bolt bucket, but uh, there is one thing that I can do for you. Oh Dear there's a uh, one of your friends around the corner Okay, uh, I'll just get rid of your friend first. Oh My god another sunset star cap that's insane. Aha Okay, now I could have also taken that card for temporary access to the floor, but uh, I hacked the terminal instead uh, You know just an alternative more than one way to get through this building without, um, the ability to take on the robots. Um, which I think would actually be fairly difficult. Well, difficult being a very, um, relative way to put it. Uh, you know, what's difficult is really based on, um, your combat skills and the wep- uh, you know, how good you are with the weapons that you use, you know? What weapon you use and how good your skill is with, you know, that specific weapon type. So, um... You know, it, it, it all comes together in a way, but it uh, it can be difficult to go th up through this um, building if you uh, if you are lacking in a good gun or a weapon 
and good skills. But, you know, I've got terrible uh, unarmed skills, but I've got this phenomenal, just like absolutely OP power fist when it comes to robots, so... <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing is getting in my way. That's kind of the point. <laughs> so, um, I'll, I guess I'll just keep combing through the layers here. I was already, already in that room. Oh, hey, storage closet. Let's take the turpentine stim pack. Looks like, nope. Uh, the Abraxo cleaner. Take that as well. Uh, bottle caps and the pre-war money. All right, anything behind the door? Nope, just a bucket. And an empty tool cabinet. All right, we'll, uh, we'll continue on our way. And, uh, we'll go... What do we have over here? I don't know, I mean... In my personal case, I've, I've talked so much about this already, about, you know, just obsessively looting things and, you know, basically taking just about everything that I can get my hands on because, uh, it has some sort of a crafting use in this game. Which, again, is a big reason why I love New Vegas. Um, but what about you guys? How do you play this game? You know, uh, you, you guys have seen so much of how I play this game. Um, but do you, you know, obsessively go through all of the containers? I mean, is that something that you care for? Because I, I can kind of see how... Well, I, I've, well, I've got other friends who've played this game, and they really can't stand the way that I play to a certain extent. Uh, because I'm way too detailed. Okay, and uh, a lot of my friends are very touch and go with the way that they play uh, the Fallout games and the Elder Scrolls games, for that matter, um, because they're very similar these days. All right. Uh, okay, I think that this robot is going to talk to me. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Uh, sorry. Invalid response. You have thirty seconds to vacate before security is alerted. Oh crap! Well, get rid of him. Hopefully that'll stop the uh, alarm from going off. I don't think that I'm going to have a lot of luck there. Aha! The Brotherhood Soldiers. Um, let's take the drained MF cells, the MF cells, and... Uh, I'd love to take the power armor, but I don't have the space in my inventory, really. And over here, we've got the drained MF cells, the laser rifle, and the MF cell. I'll have to leave the, uh, uh, the armor on them. Let's get rid of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of strange to hear myself uh, grunting. All right, now this case is what I was looking for. Third floor security access. Hopefully that will mean... Oh, son of a bitch. It's not possible to shut that alarm off. All right, let's get rid of these Securitrons. Or sentry bots. Jeez. I forgot. I can't one-hit these things like I can with the uh, Mr. Handies, so... All right, let's uh, use my explosive skill. Oh my god! Ugh, mid-air collision. Oh, that didn't do a whole lot of good. I guess I'll re-equip this fist and just take him out. Go, die, 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 die! God. <sighs> okay. Um, I am going to skip this, uh, looting this top floor for you guys because the buzzing is terrible. Oh, my god. Thank... Thank god. That terrible ear rape is done. That god-awful alarm. Ugh. Oh, drive me nuts. It's like ear mites or something just burrowing into my ear canal. Oh, okay. We've got a lunchbox here. More stuff inside of the refrigerator. I don't really have the... Oh, damn. Yep, shouldn't have taken it at all. So I'll just uh, dump some stuff in this locker. Okay, there we go. Uh, that fiend armor wasn't really doing me any good anyway. Didn't provide much protection. Get rid of this thing. Oh, around the corner. So uh, none of his friends can uh, catch me. Alright, I'm done up there. This is what I was looking for. Uh... Yeah, that's, uh, that's the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, check the containers up here really, really fast. Just in case that there's a stash of caps or something. Nope. 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 Well, I don't really care about being, being too thorough, because I found the reason why I decided to detour out to this place. Uh, not that I even need what's down here. Got a whole bunch of MF cells, so go ahead and take these. 
super precise uh, mouse cursor work. There we go. Let's open the safe. Um, take as much of the ammo as possible. Pre-war money. Leave it at that. I can take all of this. And, oh, come on. Over-encumbered? Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle my way over here and pick up the Q35 Matter Modulator, which is a very special version of the Plasma Rifle. Go ahead and crack this open and unlock the door. And I'm gonna need to hobble over to some sort of a container here to dump stuff into it because I am not gonna be stuck hobbling around like this or shuffling, really. Uh, all right, that's gonna have to do. Okay, now it's just a matter of leaving the facility. And, you know, something interesting, uh, the Q35 Matter Modulator is a, uh, a fun piece of equipment. It's, um, it's a fan- How may I How the hell did this thing get past me? Ugh, won't take anything. All right, let's just, uh, head back to the 188. Uh, you know, that Q35 Matter Modulator is, uh, impressive, but for some reason, people consistently confuse it with the Multiplast Rifle. Alright. Where is it? There we go, right away. Reduce my radiation. Equip that Fancy Pants Combat Armor I just bought. And, uh, put the Recon Beret back on. Alright. Now that I'm done at Repcon, and I'm back here at the 188, there's only one other thing that I really want to get done, and that is to have another chat with the Forecaster. What? Here we go. People usually aren't stupid enough to steal from the gun runners. Usually. <laughs> hey, man. I thought I'd be seeing you again. I did say I'd return. Here's another hundred caps. I want to hear your thoughts one last time. Sure. I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? Do your thinking about here. I need to take off my medicine. Local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down. Washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl. Smiling sad. Brown robe. Name Veronica. Half here. Wraps her and her heart up like a pack. In the pack. A key, some say. Forecast. Cloudy with a chance of friendship. Ouch. Thinking small only hurts a little. But it's a sharp pain. Are there any more thoughts I can pay you for? Sorry, sir. All that thinking has made my head hurt. I don't think I'll be doing any thinking for a long time. Veronica. Maybe she's at the outpost. I suppose I should try and talk with her.